since I was little, my dad has always, his dream for me was to become the first woman in the NBA. <laughs> that wasn't gonna happen. So I decided to go more of the artsy route. I'm the child of two parents, who one of which was a basketball coach and a PE, t PE teacher. The other one Oh my gosh. My mom is 6'4", so she played, you know, college basketball and she loves to tell everybody, you know, how she <laughs> broke records for most round rebounds. Yeah, I was supposed to be a basketball player. Yeah, my dad is still upset about that. My number one musical influence is, of course, Michael Jackson. He's truly an artist through and through. Every little thing that he did, he oversaw and he made sure it was perfect. And I'm always inspired to be hands-on in, in my stuff, especially as a young person. I think it's good to get started in your own stuff. Michael Jackson is known for that, so he's the king. Uh, when I was like 12, one of my first things I ever did in Hollywood was I did a Sears commercial where I was a backup backup dancer for Selena. So I wasn't like a backup dancer, but I was like the backup backup dancers. And I don't even think I made it on TV, but that's okay <laughs> because, you know, everything happens for a reason. Noonie, Noon, love me. Oh. Everyone knows that Noon doesn't love me. He loves my mom and Darnell more. Now your dog Noon Come has here. a Twitter account that I saw. Come here. Yeah. Is that right? But uh, surprisingly, ready, ready? I don't run it! The name Noon came from the fact that growing up I had a giant schnauzer and he passed when I was like 19 and so I wanted to get another dog. I named the first dog Midnight and so obviously Noon fits and the joke is that if I ever have a dog after Noon, it will be after Noon. Here and I'm here with my style muse my one and only fashion icon of them all, Law Roach, who has been my stylist since I was, what, 14, 13? 13, 13, 14 years old. It's been a, we've been together for a long time. Mm -hmm. I went to a premiere and I uh, had these earrings. They were big, beautiful earrings. And I thought they were fake, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was this article that came out the next day that was like, Zendaya wears million dollar earrings. <laughs> and I was like, Law, did you put me in million dollar earrings last night? He was like, mm, probably. No, no. What? So, long story short, they're not mine. I gave them back. Um, and yeah, <laughs> probably never happened again because I was so stressful. Who's the most stylish person alive? Uh, La Roche, my stylist. And you're Virgo. Yeah. What's the most Virgo thing about you? Okay, now this is gonna sound negative, but like, I'm a little bit of a control freak. Just a little bit. Selfie. I like to control. Dad is a sender backer. All of my brothers and sisters make fun of him. Like he's literally had a waiter try a fry to make sure that they taste the grease or they taste how cold it is. Yeah, so I definitely send things back, but that's just in my blood. Now I know you often do your own makeup for events. Yeah. Where did you learn those skills? Um, <laughs> I've had so many makeup horror stories and I've had so many makeup artists in my past that I just kind of took all the good things from each of them and uh, learned how to do it myself. That act of you doing your own makeup, it's so, I don't know, like old school theater. Yeah, for sure.